Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here rolling solo dolo on this Browns Mad 19 franchise rebuild. We're at the end of Season 5. It's the Season 5 in review, folks. We have just won our third Super Bowl in a row. Um, I'm just going to kind of do a quick review video, kind of show you like the player stats, the year-end awards, the records, those sort of things, what the team looked like at the very end of the season, who potentially is leaving, etc. So let me go and get right to it. We won the Super Bowl. We got our third Super Bowl in a row. So I'm going to go ahead and start out with uh, the stats from the season so you guys can see like what the yearly stats were. Um, it looks like I may have set some NFL records. So Zach Weaver. He had uh, 4,600 yards, 54 touchdowns, and five interceptions. Great year. Um, almost 300 yards a game. Rushing, Ellis Barker, rookie, 2,500 yards, 25 touchdowns. Motherfucking phenomenal. So let's go to receiving. DeAntoine Hanoian, 1,400 yards, 13 touchdowns. DeValve had 1,000 yards and 12 touchdowns. Holloway, oh, Holloway actually had more catches than, than Callaway. Damn, and more touchdowns. Look at that. So Callaway and then P. Armstrong. So, like, I mean, I'm pretty evenly distributed. I mean, 60, 47, 31, 30, 29. So, and even Goodman had a couple things. He's going to come in there, folks. He's going to be good, man. Uh, so, that, I mean, that's good. So, I mean, I, I distribute the ball between the four players, the four receivers and the tight end pretty well. Blocking, eh. Uh, let's see here. Defense. All right. What we got here? So we had Ragland and Nick, Nate Hairston and Joe Schober. So like the so like the guys I'm getting rid of. Oh my god, they aren't very good. Oh well, fuck you, Dawson. You didn't want to sign. Wow. Okay. Cool, dude. All right, let's do it then. Ha. All right. So there's that. How many? Who had who had some sacks? Uh, let's see. Carl and the God. I'm letting you go too. God damn it. All right. And Weldon's still gonna stick around. Golston is my new uh, Miles Garrett. And Joby, I think, is around. Joe Schobert. Oh, now you're down to two. So, interceptions. Let's see here. Denzel Ward had three. But that's not really worth keeping him around for. You had, let's see, 60 tackles, three interceptions, two pass deflections. You're not worth paying $10, $10 million a year, bro. Yeah. All right, yeah, I don't think I'm going to keep him around. He was like, that was kind of my decider. How many deflections? Yeah, I mean, pff, nope, I'm good, friend. So let's see, kicking. Zang is also kicked 15 of 17 field goals. Uh, how many extra points here? Da, 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 da. Extra points attempt. I, had, I scored 80 fucking touchdowns. I made uh, most of them. Punting. Vogel, dude, 57 yards a punt. Jesus Christ, man. Uh, kick returns. That's my rookie Kerr. So I guess they only scored. Why is it only? Is it, these must be the ones that I did because they scored more, way more than eight touchdowns. I don't know. Maybe it's skewed because I, because uh, I sim the defense. I don't know. But Patrick Kerr is an up and coming wide receiver. Uh, punt returns. He's, eh, he's not very good. So, so there's our stats for the season. Let me go ahead and check the uh, NFL records for a season. Uh, season, pass yards, no pass touchdowns. Oh, Zach Weaver was one shy of the record. Man, I wish I would have paid attention to that. So rushing yards in a season. Ellis Barker, he set he set a record, which actually beat oh dude Cohen from a couple seasons ago uh, by oh shit by like forty yards. So good, dude. Ellis Barker, let's do it. Rushing TDs. Nope, we still don't have the record. Receiving yards. Nah, no one's gonna get that. Nobody on my team. Pat receiving touchdowns. Nobody's even close. So. All right, cool. Let's see if I did any game. Pass yards, nope. Pass TDs in a game. Zach Weaver had seven, so he tied the record. Rushing yards in a game, nope. Ellis Barker had 260 this year, but that's still not good. Rushing TDs in a game, nope. Receiving yards in a game, nope. And receiving TDs in a game, nope. So, all right, cool. So we didn't set any records. Let's look at the year-end awards, guys. Uh, oh, the Legacy Leaderboard. Look at that. I'm number one all time. My coach rating is finally up there. Uh, week, weekly award. God damn it. I'm not doing weekly awards. Uh, let's see here. Yearly awards. All right. So we got the MVP was Ellis Barker. Nice. And then number two was Zach Weaver. So that's awesome. Uh, so two of my guys, my two offensive guys were the top two guys. Coach of the year. 
Jonas motherfucking J. And we'll go to the AFC Awards. Offensive Player of the Year, Barker and Weaver. Awesome. Uh, Defensive Player of the Year, anybody? Nope, no one on our team is listed. Miles Jack. Offensive Rookie of the Year, Ellis Barker. This guy's last name is... His, this guy's name is Long Faggins. Wow, dude. That's kind of, that's weird. All right, so he's in defensive player the rookie of the year. Anybody. No, I didn't have any defensive players. Best QB, Zach Weaver. That's pretty awesome. Best running back, Ellis Barker. Zach the Dream Weaver, Ellis the Dyson Barker. Uh, best wide receiver. Ah, ha, ha, Hanoian. That's my boy, dude. I can't even remember when I traded for him. I traded for him a couple seasons ago in the offseason, and he has been a goddamn godsend for this team. It's been awesome. Best offensive lineman, Betonio, and then Bradford Lee, both who are leaving the team, I think. Best D lineman, nobody. Best linebacker, nobody. Best DB, Denzel Ward. Bro, he had 60 tackles and two interceptions and two passes deflected. I don't think he's worth $10 million a year. Best kicker, my kicker. Awesome. So that was a pretty good season for that. Um, let's see here. What else do we want to show you? Oh, I'm going to go through now and uh, show you what the final roster looks like, where everybody's at stat-wise. Uh, and, you know, some of these people will be leaving. We'll go over that in a second. So QB, you know, we got Zach the Dreamweaver. He's at 80, an 89 overall. We had Kaiser. He was just a backup. I draft. He'll be gone. For sure. He, I didn't draft him. I just signed him as a backup for the season in case Weaver got hurt. We got Barker. Perkins will be gone. Stith. He was a he was a rookie I got a couple seasons ago. I'll keep him around, but I'm definitely going to look for a backup because I, the Stith guy didn't. He, he's not fast enough. He's only an 86. So fullback. Samuel Mabin. He's he's coming along. He was a rookie. Or no, it's the second seat. He's coming along. We, we got to see how he goes. I don't want to give up on him yet. We'll wait till his rookie deal runs out and see how he is. The guy I had before, oh my God, he was so good, but he was getting old. Hanoian is our best receiver. He's 93. Callaway's 91. Uh, they're both young still. Marshall Holloway is going to be there. Gordon didn't play all season. I just couldn't cut him because he was too expensive. Uh, Holloway's getting up there, Armstrong, and then we got Kerr. So I need to make, I need to make a decision if I'm going to, uh, make Kerr or Armstrong because Kerr is fast, dude. And they're the same. So I don't know. We'll see. I like Perry Armstrong, but Kerr, I drafted him. So we'll see. Uh, Gordon's going to be gone. These guys are probably for my pa practice squad. So they may be gone. I'm not sure. I don't have, I, there's not enough fucking soup in the bowl. You know what I mean? Tight end, we got uh, Seth DeValve, he's 30, and he's only a 78. I may swing Goodman up here to kind of uh, take over for him uh, because Goodman was doing pretty good. So DeValve I can't cut yet because he he still cost me money. Actually, I probably could. We'll wait until the next season. I'm Until the offseason, offseason, I might be able to. Uh, Betonio, he'll be gone for sure. I re-signed this guy. He was a free agent, so he'll be there. Uh, I have some, you know, some other guys that were on the practice squad, but Batonio's going to be gone. He's went down. He was up to like a 90 something and he's lost cause he's over 30 now. Uh, Patrick Flynn, I think is still going to be around. My, my offensive line is still not great. Bradford Lee, he wanted to, uh, he wanted to see how a uh, free agency treated him. So this guy, hopefully Treader, I can let go. He's been awful. Uh, I may, I may franchise him to be honest. He's pretty good, man. But uh, see here, Cooper Chase is going to be gone. So Harvey Lee is probably going to pop up. I'm going to draft some linemen, I think. Uh, Bryant Bennett, he's good. He's hanging out. Popic, I like him. So we'll keep them around. Left end, Carl Seab is gone. So Bromley's going to be the main guy, but I'm going to probably draft somebody because uh, he's, you know, he's 30. Reed Golston, he's the guy that replaced Miles Garrett. He's up to an 82. I mean, this guy's not bad as a backup either. He's young. Um, and Joby, he's getting up there, but... I he, I think I got him for like two more years, but my backups aren't that great. Like I drafted that guy a couple years ago. I mean, they're, they're not bad, but they're not a 93. You know what I mean? So Teddy Weldon's going to be here. Simpson's going to be gone, but he's my backup. So that's fine. Simpson didn't want to hang out. I think he wants to be a starter somewhere. Middle linebacker. I need to draft some middle linebackers because look. Ragland and Schober are both 29 and they're both coming to the end of their contract. So I got Javon Black. 
who I resigned and could it'll be good, but I need I need another middle linebacker either in the draft or in free agency. Uh, Johnny Dawson, he decided to go. I got Tarpley, but so as you can see, my linebacking core is going to be depleted. It's going to need some help. Uh, cornerbacks, uh, Denzel Ward. I think I'm going to let you go, dude. And then I got Hairston. He's he's a uh, 29. I mean, he's around for another year, but I'm going to have to. I mean, God, maybe I I don't know. Middle Brooks and. I need a I need to draft a cornerback. My cornerbacks are going to be lacking because I think I'm not going to pay him ten million dollars a year. I'm actually going to go look at my salaries here in a second. So we'll see. I may, I may. So that's that. My free safeties. I'm good, man. I got Sidney Floyd and Alan Lemur. Alan Lemur is going to want resigned this year. Hopefully, I can resign him. I'd love to keep him as a backup. Um, he shouldn't be too expensive because he's only ranked in eighty and he's a backup. Uh, Jabril Peppers. I have him locked in for a couple more years, so he's good. And Kid, I've already resigned, I believe, or he's on his rookie deal. So. So we're pretty good there. Kicker, I got these dudes locked in. I got uh, Zane and Vogel locked in for a little while, a couple more seasons, which is fine. And then here's all my draft picks. I, I have the last pick, and I have one, two, three seconds, one, two, three, four, five thirds, one, two, three fourths, two fifths, two sixths, and a seventh. So it's very likely in the offseason video I may try to trade some of these picks for uh, players that are on the trade block or whatever because why not? So, all right. So here is my salary situation. I think I have good amount of cap. Yeah. Oh God, I have a hundred million dollars in cap space. Like I'm very methodical with my cap. Uh, so right now, this is twenty. This is right now. Like he, like these guys are going to be gone. He's going to be gone. He's going to be gone. He's going to be gone. This is the Valve's last season. So I may put him into a backup role. Treader's going to be gone. I think he's gone. Maybe this. I hate this part of the off season because like. It, oh, maybe that's their cap hit if I franchise them or something. I don't know. But um, but see, like, Unjobi has one more year left, and he's getting old. Kaiser's going to be... So it's like, these guys are getting up to the part where they cost a lot of money. And, I, I mean, Callaway's probably going to be worth it. Hanoian, they're both... I mean, they're the top two signs. I got pr Peppers. So, like, I'm doing pretty well keeping guys around. God, I paid that motherfucker that much money? He better get good. Uh, Ragland, I mean, he's he's getting to the end of his rope. Weaver only has two; he has two seasons left, and then he's gonna want fucking ridiculous money. So, so we're we're sitting pretty good. I gotta wait till I get to the the last re-sign stage here. So, here's who's ready to dip off the team. If I want to re-sign Kaiser, I'm not going to. Uh, Ward, he wants ten million dollars a year. I don't. He's yeah, he's a he's a ninety nine, but. Dude, I just don't think he's I don't think he's worth it. Petonio's on the downfall. He wanted a bunch of money. I tried to sign him. He wants so I'm not gonna franchise him. Uh Carl Nasib is 30. I'm not gonna re-sign him. He wants money. Gordon is on his way out. I'm not gonna re-sign him. Simpson was a backup. He just wanted more money. I may try to sign him again in free agency just to see if I can catch him on the cheap if nobody else wants him. This guy right here, I may franchise because a center is hard to come by and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think about that off camera um, before I do the offseason video. Perkins, I'm not paying a backup running back $4 million a year. He can suck it. This dude's only a 78. And then Perry Nickerson's 28 years old. I'm not going to do it. So one last thing I guess I'll show everybody before I go is the standings. As you can see, kind of where the teams were this year and who made the playoffs and whatnot. Uh... I was the best 15 and one. We'll go, uh, we'll just go through the AFC. So 15 and one, the Bengals also made the playoffs at 10 and six. It's great to see the Steelers at 500 or less. Uh, AFC South, it's uh, Colts and Texans made the playoffs. Uh, AFC East, the Patriots are eight and seven and one. They were the only ones that made the playoffs. So, like, that division is trash, man. Holy crap. The Chargers are eight and six. Uh, Chiefs, I mean, so eight, six, and two, two ties, bro. Oh my God. And that, so they had less wins than the chief, but they made the playoffs. How funny is that? A NFC North, uh, the bears and the Vikings, NFC South, the saints and the Panthers. Ooh, they got left out in the cold because they were nine and seven, two NFC East, the giants only everybody else had losing records. NFC West, the Seahawks only because of the tie. So that's where we're at guys. Um, you know, that's really everything I got for this video for the, just the review it was just kind of going through everything. So thank you so much for checking this out. 
Uh, please make sure to like, share, subscribe, lie to your friends, tell them that we're good, man. Tell them that you, they should check us out. Like, I, we really appreciate anybody checking us out. Uh, make sure you hit that bell so you know when we're dropping new new content, which is three to four times a day, five days a week. We're really trying to put stuff out there for you guys. Um, but for Jonas, I'll catch you next week. We got the off season, but for now, on our way to season six, we are out.